We're in the through the office and we're going to use the new Thermocook Pro-M 2.0 and today we're going to make the vegetarian Indian curry. So this recipe is inbuilt into the machine. So if we press this button, it's one of the mains. And then if we scroll down, here it is, the Indian vegetable curry. So at the top, you can see it's got a list of ingredients. There is a lot of them. And then underneath, it's got all the preparation steps, which will take us through one by one. So we'll press the make button. First step is to pop in the onion, ginger and garlic, which we've got in there. We'll need to pop the lid on. Fit nice and tight. And so the step is on here. All we do is press the play button and it will do this step for us. That was quick. Now let's see what we've got. So you can see it's blitzed it all. And the next step just says to scrape it all back down. So it's at the bottom. Next step is to add all of the herbs and seeds. So it took a little bit of time to measure it out, but here we've got everything we need. Pop them in. Now the recipe says for coconut oil, but in this case, we're going to use some extra virgin, virgin olive oil. Pop the lid back on. And now it's going to saute. So again, the step is on the screen, you just press the play button. And that's gonna go for three minutes, speed one, and you'll see the temperature heat up as it starts to saute. So we'll see you in a few minutes time. Okay, so it's just been the three minutes and we've sauteed the spices with the ginger, garlic and onion. So you'll see a little bit while it's cooking, bit of steam come up. We didn't have the top on, we just had that open. So now let's have a look at the next step. So it's adding in your raw cashews, uh, the salt and pepper to taste and the tomatoes. So we've got the raw cashews here and our tomatoes. And the tomatoes had the salt and pepper on them. Uh, this one's blending for 20 seconds on speed four. It is above 60 degrees, so you can't go above speed four at this time. And we're just gonna pop this on top, just in case anything splatters outwards. And you would have seen when it's got five seconds left, it makes that dinging noise just to give you a heads up. So this is what it looks like at this stage. And the next step is to add in the water and the yogurt. So we've got the water that it needs. the yogurt we'll just do that by eye Pop it. now popping in those cold ingredients it has brought the temperature down a little bit so uh, we can do it at that full speed speed eight
And this is the finished curry sauce of what we're making. The only thing it hasn't done now is pop the veggies in and cook the veg. So now in the recipe book, it says to transfer this to a large pot on the stove uh, and simmer it for 15 minutes, then pop the veg in. But we're gonna try and do the entire step in the Thermacook Pro, just so we have the one thing to wash up. So we'll pop this back on, take this off and put this on just in case there's some splattering while it's simmering. So if we set it manually, let's set it to 85 degrees, speed one, and let's do it for 13 minutes and we'll let that simmer and cook down and then we'll start adding our veg. So it's just been simmering. So we'll take the splash guard off. Open it up. And it's, it's gotten thicker, which is nice. Now with our vegetables, we've got them all lined up on our side. So we've got the harder vegetables, softer vegetables, and then the spinach to go in right at the end. So we'll pop in the carrot and the sweet potato to begin with. Pop them under the sauce. All right, lid back on. So I'll give them, say, a 10 to 15 minute head start. Let's go with 12. Uh, just down to speed one, just so it's moving very gently. Uh, and we'll just have it on 80 degrees. So after this is done, then we'll add the broccoli, cauliflower and capsicum and then the spinach. So we've let our vegetables cook in the curry sauce. Let's have a look at it. So it all looks fairly well cooked. Let's get some of it out. It smells amazing. I wish you could all smell it. We haven't prepared any rice, but you'd normally have rice, mashed potato, quinoa, something like that with it. This is the vegetarian Indian curry.